I love rum, so of course I'm gonna love rum from Barbados. But who doesn't? Barbados has the richest history of rum production. There were at one point some 491 plantations in Barbados. Cut to today, however, and there are but four distilleries. Foursquare, St. Nicholas Abbey, Mount Gay, and West Indies Rum Distillers. Each of these four distilleries have both pot and column stills, and Barbados is famous for the blend of the two, with the artful blend of the flavoursome pot still rums along with the lighter, more delicate column still rums. Foursquare, they do produce some rums under their own names, they're exceptional car series, but produce more established brands such as Dawley's and RL Seal being the big two. They only launched their distillery in 1996 and they are winning awards left, right and centre. I thought it would be really interesting to taste through the Foursquare rum range. Foursquare has been receiving huge credit, huge attention, loads of awards, Richard Seal's name is everywhere and I just want to see if the liquid stacks up to all the hype. I'm going to get as far as I can get, we've got quite a few to look through. Hopefully we come up with some interesting things. Let's see what we got. So without further ado, let's get tasting some rum. Start with the Dawley's three year. Lovely, straight away, loads coming out of the glass. Coconut, white chocolate, macadamia, really lovely aromas on this one. Delicate on the palate, three years old, been filtered to get rid of the coloring. Straightforward, really malleable rum, very soft on the palate, very pleasing indeed. Dawley's five year. Ooh. Very similar to the three-year-old, but it's got just that extra bit of spice on it. Really reminds me of a lot of the agricole style rums because there's so much flavor there. It's easy to forget that these easy drinking, mellow rums have an awful lot of flavor to give. Beautiful. On the palate, it's all marshmallow, like raspberry marshmallow. Really, really cool. I like that. We are racing ahead. We're now onto the eight year. Much heavier on the nose. We're only at eight years, but already it's much heavier. Vanilla, subtle hint of caramel. Where there's original. Quite sawdusty on the palate. Nice and dry, no added sugar. No added sugar with any of these, by the way. Backs up with that spice element. Quite peppery, hints of raisin. I want some more. Right, we're gonna jump away from Dawley's for a second and we're gonna taste the RL Seal because this is actually a 10 year old. 46% rich on the nose, it's very interesting. This is fantastic. All those barrel notes have just been dialed up and up and up. Loads of caramel here suddenly. Toffee, darker nuts like walnuts and hazelnuts. Oh yeah, this is adult rum, this is serious. None of that added sugar, but it's really soft on the palate. There is a really nice cooked butter note to it. Caramel, walnuts and butter, really good. Onto the Dawley's 12. This is a very exciting rum. Oh, the thing about this is you get all of those wonderful barrel notes. You also get so much of a backbone of the molasses that he's used. We're starting to get a bit more tropical here. Foam bananas, apricots. It's incredibly idiosyncratic. Mm. That is perfect. You wouldn't change a thing about that. Great value for money. Dawley's 12 years, is exceptional. Does it get better than that? Let's find out. Dawley's 14. As you go up in age, it doesn't mean it gets better. It gets different. Oh. This one is dark. It's amazing how different all these rums are and yet how very four square they all are. There's a heaviness to this one. This is really sophisticated. Lots of cinnamon and nutmeg and clove, loads of vanilla, almost overshadowed by this heavy, almost sherry note. I prefer the 12 because it's a little bit brighter, but this is absolutely delicious. Right, so that is the age statement range. And then we've got some exceptional cast series. Richard Seal, the master distiller and blender, he's chosen these casts and said, we're gonna send these out because these are exceptional. Let's have a taste and let's see how exceptional they are. Right, so let's start with the 2004. They give you all the information on the label. So it tells you ex-bourbon cast, 11 years old, cotton Column blend, bottled in 2015, 59% ABV. Oh, that is getting me excited. That is everything I love about rum. This is light and bright and got a lot to offer. Wow, wow. No sugar, high ABV. This is so enjoyable. This is an experience. This is, this is wicked. <laughs> 2005, what have you got? Ex-bourbon cast, 12 years old, pot and column blend, released in 2017, and 59% again. This would be an interesting comparison. It's hard going from the 2004, which was just so good. 2005, if I'm honest, just a little bit flatter. Yeah, simply put, I prefer the 2004. It's very nice, very four square, very similar, just not the same as the 2004. 2007, here we go. Ex-bourbon cast, 12 year, pot and column blend, March 2019, 59%. Let's have a taste. Really interesting on the nose. I don't know what he's done here, but there's been much more aroma. 
Mmm, a real sweetness to this one. He doesn't add any sugar, there's no added sugar here, but this one tastes sweet. Dried fruit notes. This one's a bit darker. I think bitter chocolate, baked apples. This is like my mum's apple crumble, that's what it is. Apple, ginger, and that cooked buttery oatiness. Very nice. Last one in the ex-bourbon category, 60%. Ex-bourbon, 12 years old, pot and column blend. So dark, I guess that's because he hasn't watered it down. Wow, 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 wow. Cooked pineapple, a biscuity note. This is like a pineapple crumble. Wow, this one goes at a heavier level again. Lovely. I'm so glad he doesn't add any sugar. It's just raw flavor, high alcohol percentage, and just bang for your buck. This is great. These ones all have funky names. So this one is ex bourbon and ex Madeira cask. 12 years old, pot and column blend, released in 2019. We're back down to a sensible ABV of 48%. Ooh, I'm getting lots of Foursquare with a hint of Foursquare and just a whisper of Foursquare. Some cooked Foursquare, some buttered Foursquare, and some Foursquare leaping out of the glass. Can't lie, I'm struggling here. <laughs> some great rums, but I forgot how uh, strong they were. Let's keep going. <laughs> Ooh, it's rich. That is rich and indulgent. Nice, there's a chocolatiness to it. We're back on sort of walnuts and chocolate and cocoa. I don't know what I thought the Madeira would give, but yeah, this is really interesting. Delicious. Oh, for... I've just seen we're back up to 56%. The next three are all 56%. I've then got another 56% and a 62%. <laughs> Good. Empery, here we go. Ex bourbon, ex sherry. Now we're into a territory of a whiskey drinker. 14 years old. Pot and column blend, released in 2018, 56%. Mmm, it's a real candied note. Like being in a sweet shop. Refresher bars, blackjacks. That's very nice. Soft and mellow on the palate, really tasty. This is all raisins, all prunes and dates, little bits of spice, white pepper, nutmeg. There's loads of nutmeg. This is yummy. Let's try the Hereditas. Another 14 year old one, pot and column blend, bourbon and sherry, 14 years old, 56%. How much pot and how much column has gone in, we don't know. Loads of sherry. This is like drinking a sherry cask. This is so sherry. A nice nuttiness coming through as well. What are they called? Those other, those nuts, what are they called? Um, Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts and apricots. This is absolutely delicious. Rum that I would buy in a heartbeat. Delicious, delicious rum. Very, very tasty. The last one of these named ones, Dominus. Yes, ex-bourbon and ex-cognac, 10 years old, so a little bit younger, pot and column blend. I think I'm gonna like this. 56%. Hmm. okay. This one is serious. There's like a, a nice farmyardy note, sort of a hay and straw. I think farmyard in the summer, cooked banana and lovely vanilla as well. Wow. Yes! I'm very excited about this one. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's nice and dry on the palate. We spent 10 years in these casts and it's just giving so much flavor. I know it's aged in tropical climate, but wow, it's still going, it's still going. Milk, chocolate, banana, vanilla -y sawdust. Like if you've ever been in an oak furniture warehouse, <laughs> This is a really well balanced rum, beautiful liquid. Finally, we come on to our last two bottles. These two look a little different. So these are independent bottlings from Velia. Let's take the Principia first. So four square Principia, single blended rum, as in one single distillery, blended from pot and column, double maturation, three years in ex bourbon, and six years in ex sherry. It says one of 5,400 bottles ever produced, distilled in 2008 and bottled in 2017. 100% fully matured in the tropics. They Tell you the angel share. So when they opened up the cask, the angel share was 43%. So nearly half the barrel had disappeared. Lovely. Bottled at 62%. These come with much higher price tags than the other ones, so it'll be interesting to see if they taste worth it. Okay, very, very different. Much more woody. Totally different than the ones we've been tasting so far. Beautiful backbone of flavor, but there's a real heavy sherry. I'm expecting tannin, but I don't know. Let's find out. No tannin, but a really nice backburn. It's very sophisticated. Yeah. Interestingly, the Hereditas, for me, had more of a sherry note. There's something a bit more balanced about this. This is some serious rum. This is exceptional rum. It's very, very nice indeed. But would I spend the extra money on it over the other ones? No. Right, and last but not least, let's try the triptych. Velia bottling, single blended rum, three vintages, three oaks. One from 2004 aged in ex bourbon, one from 2005 in ex Madeira, and one in 2007, which is a virgin oak. 56%, 5,400 bottles ever produced. 
There's just so much going on, so much complexity. Bright yellow, vibrant greens, and just a little bit of red coming through. All those banana -y notes, a lot of the caramelly, vanilla -y notes, some of that spice as well. Mmm. Well, that is very good. It all comes together on the palette. I'm getting rhubarb now. Loads of rhubarb. That is that's wacky. Vanilla, rhubarb, pineapple-y note. Brighter than the Principia. Much more enjoyable, much light, much more going on. It's much more an exciting run. Wow. Wow. Made it. Oh, dear me. Right. Yep. I get it. There is a lot of hype about this distillery, but to be honest, I think for good reason. Great liquid, very impressed, and would highly recommend. I need to stand up. My absolute favorites, my standouts, were the Dawley's 12 Year, the 2004 Exceptional Car Series, and the Triptych. And they've made me feel fantastic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you next week.